Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and as you can see, I am not currently in my home office. I'm actually in a hotel room in Austin, Texas. Yesterday, we just finished up our three-day Crosstalk Fundamentals of Networking training course, and I absolutely loved teaching everyone, loved meeting everyone, and we had a really, really great time doing that course. And like usual, Ubiquity decides to wait until I'm out of town to make some sort of big announcement about a new product. I think last time was the dream wall and I was out of town and I have to do these videos from these odd locations. But I love to check out the new stuff coming down the pipe from Ubiquity. Today, the new thing is AI Theta. So this is new protect camera line that is actually pretty cool. I had no idea they were coming out with something like this. So let's take a look at the announcement video. I will actually put a link to the full announcement video also down in the description below if you would like to check it out for yourself. All right, so without further ado, let's take a look at AI Theta. All right, Star Wars intro, of course. The security camera as we know it was always designed to be intentionally intrusive. Its physical presence serving as a scarecrow deterrent for unwanted visitors. But what about the other half of the story? Within hospitality environments, for example, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere is critical to business success. And this is where the traditional security camera design needs to be reconsidered. So starting out, they are laying out the use case for this new product line. Also notice that they had put Apple stores in there. Of course, Robert Para, the CEO of Ubiquity, originally came from Apple, so that's kind of a nice little Easter egg. And right here, we can see that G4 Pro hanging off the wall. Let's take a look at what happens when it turns into an AI Theta. This is why Ubiquity set out to develop an entire new security camera concept called Theta. Okay, so that's really cool. All right, just right off the bat, you see they took the size of that G4 Pro and they shrunk it down to a 22 millimeter footprint that seems to be flush with the wall. Uh, that's really neat, right? So how did they do that? Essentially, they took the camera lens and they separated it from all of the camera body components, which are run from a different little uh, device somewhere else. Let's keep going. By deconstructing the digital hardware from the pure camera optics, we've made the footprint of the installed camera incredibly complementary to interior design. Theta is a power over Ethernet camera system, supporting a variety of lenses ranging from 360 degrees to telescopic. You saw there, you saw that little extra they, device that they have. It connects USB-C from that little box over to the actual camera lens looks like they have multiple camera lenses looks like they also have multiple accessories so while you can put the camera lens flush with the wall they also have a little sort of tilt mount as well and then as far as the camera lenses go they've got a 360 degree camera lens like the ai360 and then it says all the way up to telephoto lens so we don't know exactly what the telephoto lens is yet if you look in the EA store, they did just release this product to early access. It comes with two lenses by default. One of them is the 360 degree lens and the other one is an eight megapixel standard lens. So not the 360 lens. Uh, all right, let's keep going with this product. Thick. They can sit flush within a wall or ceiling with just a 22 millimeter diameter footprint. And the lenses can attach from the main unit up to 30 meters away. All right, so there's another interesting thing. 30 meter distance from the lens to the sort of body component where all of the brains of the camera live. Uh, up to 30 meters and again across USB type C. An additional high performance audio module with an integrated speaker and microphone array can be optionally installed. Another thing right there. So it looks like there's a lot of accessories here, right? So a separate microphone and speaker, it sounds like, that can be attached to a second USB-C port on that same little camera body. And it looks to be the exact same form factor. Let me scooch back a little bit. It looks to be the exact same form factor of the Smart Chime uh, doorbell add-on. So pretty interesting stuff. Let's keep going. Performance audio module with an integrated speaker and microphone array can be optionally installed, as well as an articulating fixture for additional viewing angle flexibility. 
So there is another accessory. That's the articulating uh, camera mount for the AI Theta. And you can see that looks to be a U6 Pro. You can see the difference in size. It's very, very small, even compared to one of their access points. AI Theta features high frame rate 4K resolution, advanced lens dewarping, impressive image dynamic range, and AI analytics focused on guest presence for additional business value. All right, so look at that. So in the Unify Protect lineup of, lineup of products, right, we have the G4 series of camera that have been able to do smart detections. They also recently released out of EA into GA, the AI bullet camera. So you have the G4 bullet, which can do smart detections, and then they had this AI bullet camera that just came out. It's a sort of a black cased camera, looks really cool, much higher priced than the G4 bullet. The G4 bullet is priced at $199 and the AI bullet is priced at $399, although they have similar specifications in terms of lens quality. So why the $200 jump in price? I think now we're starting to see why. In my opinion, and again, I don't have a crystal ball into the inner workings of Ubiquity. I'm just going off what I can speculate from these types of release videos. It looks like the AI detection is going to start getting better and better. Uh, as we can see here, it's doing a count of people in this restaurant or whatever location they're, uh, you know, they're showing here. So you see all of the people have these little green boxes around them. And then as we scooch forward, we can see a graph that shows how many people were in that camera's view over time. So my guess is that the AI branded cameras, anything like the AI Bullet, the AI Theta, whatever other AI cameras they come out with, my guess is that these cameras will have these capabilities, whereas the G4 cameras are likely gonna be limited to smart detections only. Again, let me know your thoughts down below. That's my speculation on this product lineup, but it certainly would explain why a camera with similar specifications to the G4 Bullet uh, has a $200 more expensive price tag. It's because you get these extra software and analytical features in addition to the camera itself. All right, let's keep going. The cameras are managed by our Unify Protect application and run on Unify consoles which provides the low latency performance, privacy, and license-free advantages of a local network video recorder with the remote access capabilities of cloud-based solutions and designed to get instantly up and running. And also look at this, we get a little bit of a display screen on that sort of uh, camera body piece where all of the brains of the AI Theta is. In this case, we can see, looks like it's showing the camera quality uh, it says wide angle, so that probably tells you what kind of lens is installed on the other end of the USB-C cable. And it also has some sort of uh, volume meter. I don't know if that's um, the volume of the speaker that's attached or if that's the volume of the gain uh, on, the, uh, on the microphone or that little extra smart device. Not exactly sure, but I'm interested in finding out. All right, let's keep going. Out of the box. Welcome to the future of video camera security. Discover more at UI.com. Okay, so that's about it for the video. What do I think about this thing? I think it's really cool. Like, I like this a lot. This is a pretty innovative product and I like when Ubiquity innovates. It'll be interesting to see when it first comes out. You know, so when, when Ubiquity first comes out with stuff like this, usually the software lags behind the hardware by quite a bit. Like, they'll have very basic features when it first comes out and into GA and people are actually buying it. And then over time, the software improves and just gets better. I'm expecting we'll probably see something like that with this uh, AI Theta lineup of products. So it does say that this product features two-way audio. However, it does require that extra accessory that we saw in the video. You don't get any sort of audio capabilities with the Theta camera with just the body and the camera attached via USB-C. You do have to have that extra uh, speaker, uh, you know, the smart chime looking speaker in order to get the two-way audio. But that also provides an interesting sort of flexibility use case in that you can have the camera in a completely different location as the two-way speaker, right? So imagine a situation where you might have the camera above a doorway kind of further away, 
but then you have the speaker down more at like mouth level so you can actually communicate with people but look at them from sort of a top-down view. That's actually pretty cool and I like that they've uh, separated those components. So excited to see this product come out. I did see that it hit the early access store earlier today. Uh, I was notified via text message with UI Notify. So if you guys are interested in also being notified with text messages, emails, Twitter, or a, disco, a Discord feed, make sure you check out uinotified.net for all of your product in stock notification needs. You'll be the first to know when the AI Theta is available and you can go out there and buy one for yourself and test it out. Okay, what do you guys think about this product? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.